President Muhammad Buhari transfers the reins of power to Vice President Professor Yemi Osibajo, even as he travels uh, to the UK for a medical checkup. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Serious Matters on TV. And of course, um, what we do here is to pick on news from our um, numerous news um, on our porter and just look at it, just discuss together and see, uh, you know, how much sense they make and, you know, what corrections need to be done and just hear our views on top uh, as touching, you know, this um, news. Um, uh, well, it's um, coming as a shock or as a surprise that the president is handing over power, you know, this time. Um, a lot of people have found it a bit, you know, disturbing that the president will be traveling and then he will not be able to uh, hand over power. But the president has uh, proved every one of you wrong now, saying <laughs> that he has nothing to fear. You know, uh, people think that, oh, maybe he's afraid of this thing or that thing. And even some even believe that, oh, yeah, even if he hands over powers, when he comes back, he's going to reverse anything that Professor Yemi Shibadu might have done. Or... But then the fact that he's doing what the Constitution says, you know, uh, says that we should give kudos to him. And that's why we are doing this. Um, we, we will give kudos to him for taking this decision and doing the right thing. This is the right thing to do. And that is just what he's standing for uh, at, at the moment. And it's a good thing that he has um, done. Well, President Muhammad Buhari says Vice President Yemi Osibajo is now in charge of the country. The president said this shortly before he departed Abuja for a routine uh, medical checkup in London. The United Kingdom. There are people who have one that said, "Well, this idea of check going to London, traveling to London for medical checkups. Why don't you make uh, medical facilities here be in good shape so that you can do every checkup? There's, the medical practitioners can come over and use the facilities that you provide here. You know, despite the fact that millions um, are being um, um, budgeted for." You know, the health facility, especially the one in um, the state house, they, and yet they are not being used. But then there have been proofs that uh, there have been um, um, counter proof. I mean, let, let me not use the word counter proofs, but then there have been insinuations that the president had been using these medical doctors abroad. He's been using those um, people abroad that um, for quite some years, even before he came back to become president. So... That's one of the reasons why he has stayed with them. But then we still feel, or people still feel that, oh, why not? Why shouldn't he? He's the president. Can't they come over and, you know, do whatever they have to do? But then that's not even the case now. The focus point here is that the president handed over power to his vice president this time while he's traveling. Um, well, <laughs> uh, the president had initially planned to embark on the trip from Nai from on the trip from Nairobi. Yes, he was supposed to go from Nairobi to the United Kingdom, but Kenya, after attending the United Nations Environmental Program UNEP, um, at um, and so his spokesperson, a spokesman, Femi Adeshino, had on March first said. From Kenya, the president will proceed to London for a routine medical checkup or checks that will last for a maximum of two weeks. You know, interesting, interestingly, because even the time, there was a time the president traveled for, I think, about um, one month, of, going to about one month, not the one that he went for in, in, in uh, when he first became president, but then there was one he traveled for almost, and he didn't, there was no handing over or what have you, and there were lots of noise there. Why would the president not hand over part to his vice president, president or, or VP and all of that? But then this is, this is, this is coming as um, good news for, I mean, every one of us, you know, outside here, you know, seeing the president do the right thing even at this time. But then you are free to drop your comments and make them simple and civil. Um, don't, you don't abuse anybody on the show. You just make your comments simple. Let us know what you feel about this decision by the president to hand over power to his vice president, even as he goes on his medical um, checkup in the United Kingdom. However, the president returned to Abuja on Friday around 1 p.m. foiling speculations. But Malam Gaba shows senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity told media the media that a trip had been um had been moved to sunday like rescheduled to sunday according to additional statement buari is due to return to abuja in two weeks fielding questions from reporters before his departure at the namdi um international airport abuja president buari said vice president yemi Shibajo was in charge constitutionally when he was out of the country so um like saying that he did not need to say it he did not need to he did not need to announce it that the that the vp is is in charge 
And so maybe that was what he was, the message he was trying to pass. Those times when it wasn't said, it wasn't mentioned by him, you know, that the vice president is in charge. But then, because the president is saying that it's he's in charge constitutionally, he's in charge. The president said his absence would not affect state function as he was aware of every development taking place in his absence. About, asked about how the country will function in his absence, he said, well, I cannot claim to be doing the work alone. The government is fully represented. The vice president is there constitutionally when I'm, I mean, when I'm aware, he's in charge. Um, they, then he have the secretary to the government of the federation and then the chief of staff. So there is no problem. Whenever he's not around, if you, and he says constitutionally, there are people who are to um, stand in for him. On the anxiety over the March 26th convention of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, he dials tension and said the party had the capacity to organize the scheduled program and that's not likely to be uh, achieved. On what he would tell Nigerians who had expressed doubts regarding the ability of the APC to conduct its national convention successfully, he said, well, they should wait and see how did we come as a party to take power from the ruling party, which had been there before us for so many years. So we have cap the capacity. Everything will be all right. Well, that's coming all the way from Abuja, you know, even as the president already moved, traveled to um, the United Kingdom yesterday and, um, you know, for his medical checkup, but then he's handed over parts his vice president. Let's see what will happen. Um, are there going to be improvements? Are there going to be things that the vice president are going to do? Will there be a reversal of some of the things that the president will do? I think we would actually be looking out for that and look, uh, do an update on this um, when the president comes back by the grace of God. And then um, what are the other things that you see or that comes to mind, you know, as the president goes on this medical checkup again? Um, and considering... Several other things that are attached to it. When the president moves, quite a number of things move along with him. And so um, that, that's why he's trying to, trying to tell us that, look, when I'm not around, quite there, there are things are still in order. You know, people are there to, you know, make things happen and do the right thing. Well, that's still serious. It's still coming all the way from ONIF TV. This is still serious matters. And of course, please do yourself good by going to our online news portal on tv.com and get to go through all the news ranging from sports through um politics then um we talk about entertainment and health tips for you and for your enjoyment and so um better than we will come back again with um updates on this particular matter it is still serious matters on ONIF tv my name is Olukunle abraham thank you very much for watching and please do share this video with others please do share just share those questions please just click the share button and share with others. Drop your comment. Just comment. Say something. Say something about it. I mean, he, 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 we are talking to you. So just say something about it. You know that we love you now. Come on. Do something. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.